And today we have somebody very interesting. She's somebody who's possibly given me sort of woman goals, if I can really call it that, because just so many hats she wears. She's not just a household name now because of Shark Tank, but she's also a very active marathon runner. She is a mom of two. Uh, she is a CEO, so she's one of the most inspiring people that really that you can find around. So joining me today, oh my God, and we are twinning. Good morning, Vinita, and welcome to TVC. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you so much, Arnold, and congratulations for the new format, the new show. Uh, very excited to appear here in one of the first few episodes, and I hope we can make it count. Yes, we must make it count and I'm sure that's going to be the case. But let me sort of dive in a little bit and tell people, introduce people to a bit of your story as well. Your is a story of a 23-year-old who decided not to take up a job uh, where the package was only one CR, right? It wasn't, it wasn't much. You decided not to do that and you said that I will go and be my own boss. How does a 23-year-old think like that? I want to understand what was going on in your brain at that point and how did you have such massive self-belief? Well, uh, very honestly, Sonal, I don't think I understood how hard it's going to be. <laughs> so if you ask me honestly, if I had known that it's a Well, uh, very honestly, Sonal, I don't think I understood how hard it's going to be. <laughs> so if you ask me honestly, if I had known that it's a journey that's going to take like 20 years and uh, it's going to be full of like a lot of failures, a lot of rejections, uh, maybe I wouldn't have had the courage to do it. Uh, but, you know, when you're 23, um, the good thing that happens is that there's a lot of bravado um, <laughs> and you have a lot of uh, self-belief. Hmm. And uh, I just assume that it's going to be much easier to build your own business. Uh, but in hindsight, when I look back, I think um, no career is easy, uh, hmm. whether you start your own business or you want to be world class in anything that you do. It does take 15, 20 years. It takes wow. uh, a lot of risks. It takes uh, a lot of consistency and showing up every single day, uh, even in the face of rejection, failure, and you know sometimes a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of stress around what the hell am I doing with my life. So I think I went through all of those uh, journeys. Mm -hmm. But luckily, mm -hmm. most entrepreneurs have this bias for action, where mm -hmm. um, without really thinking about what the risks uh, in this were, uh, I jumped into it. And uh, the first seven years were really, really hard because it was one failure after another. And, yeah. you know, it's something that they don't teach you at business school, like really how to run a business uh, because they can't. Every day is like a new story. Uh, but I, I think so, you know, I, I don't give myself a lot of credit for having the courage to start up back then because it wasn't thought through. Hmm. But I do give myself credit for hanging in there for 17 years through those failures mm. and showing up every single day for my consumers, even when uh, there was no money left in the bank account. And, you know, it, I didn't know how I would pay the next month's salaries. But even on those days, mm. I showed up. And I think uh, that's what really matters, just showing yeah. up every day, decade after decade. Mm. And uh, when you're in your 20s, you think mm. 20 years is a long time. Hmm. Uh, but actually, uh, most careers get built, if you want to do something world class, over a 20 year period. Wow. And it's important to have that patience. Hmm. And uh, not just as an entrepreneur, but um, as anybody who's trying to be really good at something, it's important to stay consistent, be patient. So yours is clearly a story of uh, perseverance and grit and that is now becoming a theme on TBC. We had uh, Rohan Bopanna yesterday and he also said it took him 20 years to become world number one but he kept at it. He fought through age, he fought through a lot of challenges to ensure that he get there. But you know, I, this is what I hear a lot of entrepreneurs talk about. They say that it is about showing up day after day but can you share some tools perhaps uh, on how exactly do you do it? Like what's your pick me up? If I'm somebody who's starting up and I'm feeling really down and out, I feel this is it, I've hit rock bottom. Uh, can you share with us what do you do at that moment? Yeah, 
yeah i think uh, you know when you are in your 20s it's all about like milestones right you're really thinking about oh i'm going to get like my valuations going to be this much i'm going to get 200 crore i'm going to uh, get to a bigger office i'm going to get a big car i'm going to you know have a house it's all about you know you're thinking about milestones uh, but you realize eventually that it's actually no matter how cliche it sounds but it's really the journey that matters a lot more and i think the only thing that as an entrepreneur you have to do i don't think there is any other option mm. is to enjoy the journey and to be excited about the journey and i really you know reminded myself every day that this this suffering this pain this rejection this failure is all part of the plan you know that's mm. how it's meant to be and um i really fell in love with our consumers with the products that i was creating with the brand that i was building with the india story with mm. the people i was working with you know mm. we have the pleasure of having 75% women who work at sugar and i was excited mm. about that mm. and i didn't worry myself beyond mm. the point about you know the getting to the next milestone mm. and you know just getting to um, the next big zero um, in your top line bottom line and i just uh, you know those are important and you have to obviously uh, speak about them at every board meeting <laughs> but unless you really Very truly enjoy yeah. the process and yeah. you really remind yourself that mm. uh, you know it's at the end of the day mm. uh, nobody gets happy because of x number of digits in their bank account but they really get happy about you know what they are building what they are doing and who they are doing it with um mm. i could be grateful and i mm. was able to tell myself that yeah i mean you know i might be uh, in the you know gutter right now but i'm still looking at the stars i have hope i have optimism i have a great team to work with and you know just those little bits of gratitude about how far i had come hmm. and uh, just you know enjoying the moments uh, got me through those tough years hmm. and 